Okay, today's project we're going to install this Wave 6 catalytic heater. Um, plan is to hang it on this wall for storage and then we can pull it out and we've got this 20 foot propane hose so we can put it in the bedroom or we can go put it in the living room just so we can put that heat where we need it. Um, plan is to take off that propane pressure gauge and then just add a T uh, into where that gauge is and then I can keep the gauge and then I'll connect that 20 foot hose uh, to, to the heater that way I don't have to cut into any of the existing line here this line is in the back of our bus in like our utility closet area and it just goes up to our water heater um, hopefully it's a pretty straightforward install we'll see okay so I'm gonna take this pressure gauge off and safety first the propane is disconnected and I think all of the gas is out of the line if not it will come out and this comes off just don't light any flames in the meantime And then I'll clean off all that pipe tape and put new tape on there for when I put this back in. Okay, so got the pressure gauge off and cleaned up uh, some of that tape off of there. Um, so I got these parts on Amazon and from Lowe's. So we got just that T that I'm going to put into there and then from off that T I can put the uh, pressure gauge back onto the, probably the top of that or maybe the other side I'm not quite sure yet um, and then on the other one I'm going to put that nipple and then I will attach that uh, quick connect fitting uh, onto there and then the hose will go on to uh, that side and that'll go to the heater. Okay, so added that T right here off of that T. Um, added the pressure gauge back onto that side and then decided to put this quick connect onto the top so then when I put that uh, long 20 foot hose and it'll just come up off the top and then feed over here and then I'm gonna mount the uh, wave heater up there that I can take on and off the wall and this quick connects pretty straightforward it has a nice on off safety valve um, when the gas is on it doesn't let you disconnect when it's off you can disconnect and then you can put your uh, hose on and off nice little feature and it's always good to have your on off valves too um, right before every gas appliance you have all right so now uh, i'm gonna work on finding a spot got some storage up there i don't want to really block off our uh, battery monitor on our inverter remote so somewhere on this wall I will put that heater um, it's fairly big and heavy I originally was going to uh, like put it in the middle of that wall in our bedrooms back there so I was gonna uh, kind of hinge it uh, so it could kind of hinge out and then face into the bedroom but it weighs a lot more than I thought, and the hinges and the supports I had, uh, I didn't feel comfortable with hanging it off there. Um, in the future, if I need it, I can maybe buy like a TV swivel stand or 
fab something else up and put it up there but for now I'll just put some screws into the wall and then on the back of the heater it just hangs off of those uh, ports there and over there um, and then there's the same thing on the bottom there and there um, so yeah that's what we'll do next here and then I also the connection for that is just the 3 8 flare um, I bought a adapter uh, that's 3 8 flare to a quick connect which I'll show you when it's on there okay so we got the wave heater all hooked up it started on the first time and right now we have it on high it says to uh, leave on high for about 10 minutes when you start it up and uh, we can feel it putting some heat off it feels good um, it's hooked to the hose that way we can move it from the front to the back and the back to the front wherever we need the heat and that hose goes into that quick connect and we checked for leaks with their leak detector and there weren't any so that's always good to see on the first time and see the quick connect off of that side and there's also an extra shut off valve on that quick connect as well and we'll see how well it heats up the bus okay so then to store our heater First thing, I can turn off our gas with that solenoid. So gas is off. Um, these are nice. We have a shutoff valve on there. So that supplies off from there. And I also have one right there. Now there's still pressure in the line. Just the quick connects. That comes off. And then this side. Quick connect there. So, in the hose, one end has that type of quick connect. And the other is like that. Okay, so then to store the heater and get it out of the way, I disconnected the hose. Just have it mounted on a hook up there. It's nice and out of the way. Um, this is uh, just a dust cover for the heater. They recommend that to uh, keep dust out of that pad. The pad uh, that uh, is in the heater gets dirty. Um, you pretty much have to send it in to get it replaced from what I understand. So um, that was extra to buy as well as these uh, legs to stand um, was extra to buy um, was originally gonna put it up here but I think I like it down there out of the way better in case we want to add more storage up here plus I didn't want it falling off the wall when we were bumping around down the road especially with some of these roads that we go down so I like it it works well um, it's out of the way it looks clean and I think it's gonna work great for us